All right, let's get to some double tap or nah before we get out of here. Let's talk about Disaster Girl, the meme that you guys all have, you know, have all seen before, but she's now, what, 21? Yes. 21 years old, and she is now cashing out and getting paid for it. She turned the meme mm-hmm. into an NFT, which I'm still learning about, but these are these digital cryptocurrencies and selling things on the internet, similar to the whole Top Shot conversation. And she sold it for $500,000. She was four years old when this photo was taken and her dad just posted it at the internet and obviously it became what it is today. And now she gets to cash out for that, which I think is incredible for anyone who has had something randomly pop off online. Mm-hmm. And you're always like, what do you get, likes? Now you can get paid. Yeah, I don't know how to do it though. Me either but i want to somehow be a meme but not a bad meme that's i maybe y'all's macarena meme can, cj your macarena re- meme can hey, go viral cj you were spicy with that macarena i didn't realize how spicy yeah you was. you were i was rolling. getting after it yeah you were <laughs> when was that like the first because i that was the first time i'd done the macarena in like a decade maybe three years okay maybe because every now and then i go through a macarena phase it was like nope oh. i, wa- I want to hear macarena I what, hear. where does the phase come from and where are know. you when this phase happens I don't know. it just hits me in my in my body in my bones you wake up and say, say yep i want to do the macarena today hmm. okay i want to i want to do the macarena i want to listen to mambo number five i want to let the dogs out i just go through a phase where the, i'm listening to who those types the of the dogs songs out. which is another song ooh, we shouldn't ooh, let kids ooh. sing i yeah it's a terrible song but it's a great song no, there's, there's a lot of songs. They would put that music video on the Disney Channel as it was, a kid. It, it was in because the Rugrats they, movie. Yes. Rugrats in Paris. It was yes. in that movie, was yep. it not? Yep. I, I, I think how do you remember in, what happened in Rugrats in Paris? I because it was it like one of the ago. greatest installments of the Rugrats franchise of all time. And you remember it, though? Yes. Oh, my gosh. When they're on the plane and they sing that song about Chucky's dead mom. Oh. It still makes me cry. Baby Kimmy comes Wait. into the show. Like, how can you not Chucky's remember? Chucky's mom dies? Ba- Meg. Chucky's mom has been dead the whole time. Oh. That's the whole. That's and the whole. And then he sings this song, and it's Paris. called. But yo, I love Rugrats, but I was a child. Time. I don't remember what happened in Rugrats. I remember Susie and Angelica. I remember the movie theater. I saw Rugrats in Paris, and I saw it with my mom in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, who am I? Who do I work with? Who do I work with? Really, Mr. Benson can come on the show people. and be my co-host, and CJ. He won't talk about Matt James with you. Mm, <laughs> that's where it stops. That's fine. That's I told him, fine. I said, he was like, are you going to do the shirt? And I said, yes, it's during Fashion Friday. And I know he usually stops watching before yeah. pop of the morning. So that's what my mom does. She turns it off. Yep. <laughs> but my sisters love it. That's all that matters. All right. Let's get to uh, another one. Megan's not the only one who doesn't check. This is the one you uh, said, T-Pain. But this is what you put in the rundown. You're not the only one who doesn't <laughs> check messages. Uh, T-Pain posted a funny TikTok video that has gone viral. Check this out. I was today years old when I found out about the request folder on Instagram that's full of celebs trying to reach me. <laughs> Dude, is that Fergie? SMH. Oh Lord, I missed him. Viola there. Davis. Yeah, but it's someone talking for her, which I've makes like someone from his PR team. Yes. Ignoring all these people for like two years. You got overtime in there. Yo, what's up? Wanted to chop it up with you. I thought DMs are supposed to just show up in a normal Colin folder. Colin Towns you mentioned them. Carrie Hilson. Tyler Cameron. I apologize to I'm, everybody All these on mentions, this list. Nate Robinson, Yo Bro. I'm doing I a show. In this video. I mean, we have never hit up t Pain. Thank goodness we I haven't. haven't checked and replied to. <laughs> Yo, we're doing, how embarrassing that would be. Yo, we're doing a yeah. show. Can you come on? I'm stupid. That's really funny. Yeah, for those who do not know, because I, I saw that a lot of people were saying that other celebrities were saying know. the same thing that they did not know about uh, the requests. When you, if you're not following the person, which I don't check mine either, um, and I'll I check it once every two months. Yeah, I don't, and, and I don't, I don't ever, I don't. Yeah, I'm not good at that. Well, you guys, I don't check anything, but. There's a request part on top of your DM messages where that's where all those are. So if you're not following the person, those requests go into that folder, and so. Um, T Pain maybe could have missed out on uh, maybe a collab or a deal or m- being on a, on a show. I, w- I wonder what is everyone mentioning him though for? Like, I don't. I Anytime, never, like, maybe like a song or something. Oh, did you get an I, I alert for that? Cause maybe. I, I use know. a lot of songs. I don't know. I wonder that now. I lot. use a lot of people's songs. They get, and they just, if they see, they or just Or if he had, it. like, just done something, like maybe he had 
it's pandemic time. So maybe the versus battle was like a lot of those mentions yes. too. Yeah, maybe that, that could have been, been it. it. But yeah. T Pain, get on it. And for those who don't who did not know, you're your man, uh, your future wife, husband might be in those requests. If you're a woman, like I don't yeah, I don't really check mine, but pour a glass of wine before you go through that experience. I had someone get so mad at me. I missed someone asking me to like do an event because it was in that other folder and mm -hmm. I never I check it. I literally check it on the first of the month every two months because it's just a lot Why of is the first of the month. I don't know. Just because I like, <laughs> No, but I always try to make sure that yes, I'm paying my bills. I pay my <laughs> rent and then I check my Instagram <laughs> others folder and this guy like, went from being so nice and then he was like, I am so disappointed in you. I thought you were different than this and more responsible in terms of getting back to people. And I was like, yo, there's yeah. this thing called email. <laughs> like, oh. You can you can find someone's work email pretty easily. I'm not suggesting people find people's work email, but anyway, where, where we cleared it up folder? at school. Huh? Missed the event. Where is this folder? Now, it's at the top. The top. <laughs> that didn't Let's really see. Help. How many do you? Yeah. According to our RSI department, I, I shouldn't have any because I'm a dude and I don't get DMs like y'all do. So like it says requests. primary general and then requests. Like, so like I have five requests right now. I'm not going to you probably have a hunt. Okay, I saw something too I was gonna send, I forgot to, that they were testing out something where like your notifications get larger as the number gets bigger. So like if you had like 10 unread things, the 10 is the normal size that it oh. is right now. If it got to 50, it would be like a bigger font. If it got to 100, it would be a bigger font until eventually the number would just be as big as the app. And I was like, that would drive you insane. Oh. How many texts do you have right now? Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm real good, y'all. Let's just make sure I'm good, though. <laughs> how many emails do you have right now? Oh, that's, now? that's bad. Like, I didn't even want to tell you how many work emails I have, because I might get in trouble. Uh, oh, see, I have 28 unread text messages. That's not bad. My work that. phone. Ooh, my work phone. I got 86. Good Lord. Wow. Because I usually, yeah. I'm going to get better. That's okay. I'm doing better. But I, like, I will say sucks. it's good, because then you know what you haven't answered. Like, I yeah. get to the point where it's been like a week, and I haven't answered someone because I read the message, and I just forgot to answer it. And then I don't have a notification to tell me there's an unread mm -hmm. message. And I, we get a, we get a, I, I, here's my thing. I don't clean out things. We get, we get a lot of like junk emails too. Not junk, but like, you know, we get, we get the like daily PR. work emails and different things. I get every single Memphis Tiger sports email. Oh, ever. see, I won't do that. Soccer, softball, track and, and you field. Just, see, that, that's a lot. That's, a, that's a like lot. you're, your brain gets clouded, like clouded up with stuff, information. So that's probably why I I don't I'm not great with like DMs on Instagram. So I don't tell people what to DM me because I'm just like me neither. Please don't. If you if you can find my number, well, I I don't know what's best. See, work emails might don't do the number. That's I, like, I don't I don't know what's best for me either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not. Well, hey, check your requests every now and then. First of the you month. might get you might have you might have your lover in there. You might get you might have a future deal. You might got some money in there. So we all need to do better. I'm going to do better, too. I don't think my future husband's in mine yet. But, but after yeah, today, you just never know. You just never know. Yeah. All right. Last let's, one. Moms can retire. I don't know what this is. Something CJ sent? Probably. It's a Quiddy Pay. Quiddy Pay got drafted last night. Oh, Defensive yeah. From Michigan. That oh, was that really got sweet. Drafted to the Colts. Uh, here's his video. Well, Quiddy, you've made a point that obviously getting drafted in the NFL changes circumstances. You wanted to be able to take care of your mom. What does it change for the prospect for your life and your family's life? Uh, for my family, uh, she's done working. She's retired. <laughs> oh, she got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and if, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they came over here immigrants. Uh, mm -hmm. She escaped from, from two, civil wars, two civil right? wars, yeah. Got over here, and now she she was working like she was like working like various jobs. I remember mm -hmm. they did a whole like uh, game day feature yeah. on Quiddy, and they she was working like jobs during the day and then at night. And Quiddy would talk about how his mom couldn't come to certain games sometimes because she was providing uh, for the family. I think she, I think she went to school too, went to college. Uh, so uh, super happy for her. You you just. You can t you can see the overall yeah. emotions. So like that's real. Him saying like my mom can retire, and then that that feeling just hit her. Like welcome to Nashville. Welcome to Nashville. Go enjoy the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Is he a been, Titan or he's a Colt? Colton? He's a Colton. Oh, yeah, it's a Colt. So, yeah, welcome to Nashville. Well, go get after him, pretty baby. Gonna, Let's go. Let it go. It's late in the show. Indianapolis, then go enjoy Indianapolis. Enjoy Indianapolis. That's, that's what the, the draft was, is all about, though. That is. Right? It is like, the story. That's, that's the best part of it. Set your family up for life. Do do right with your money. Your family is good. Even if you got that one contract, if you're a first round draft pick, you should be okay for the rest of your life. It's life changing money. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I will say both 
Maria Taylor and Susie Colbert last night were like tremendous. Mm -hmm. You have to ask some variation of the same question over and over again. And yet they somehow make it feel fresh and somehow continue to just get really awesome moments out of people in the biggest moments of their lives. Like props to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will continue tonight. We'll see more great stories and great storylines and see uh, more young men's <laughs> lives change, you know, forever. Yeah. And so that, that's, that's the exciting part. All right, let's hustle up and get out of here for what we're watching. Um, 